<laughs> uh, folks, welcome to the Hotbox Show in a parallel universe. And as always, we'll be talking Lang Dank. Uh, this <laughs> evening, we are very fortunate to be joined by Bianca and Roxy. Uh, they are from Hoko Active Wave. That's correct. Uh, they're going to be telling us a little bit about their cannabis-inspired healthy lifestyles, as well as their dope as fuck leggings. Tell us a little bit about your very active, healthy, stoner-centric lifestyles and who you are. Okay, well, I'll go first. I'm not going to lie, it hasn't been a very active month, but... <laughs> In general. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I haven't really been smoking weed for that long. It was only when I started dating my now husband. Yeah. His family is big into that. Um, <laughs> so you were know. healthy then for 20? Yes. Okay. That's the timeline. <laughs> um, and then obviously just being around them and the fam all the time just became part of my day. And it changed my life. It's just like the most amazing thing. I just find that like after a long day at work, get home, smoke a joint, don't worry mm. about anything. Just chill, it's amazing. And then with the yoga as well, I'll show you obviously. Yeah. Know. It's the most amazing thing doing yoga stoned. This grounds you a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Amy's been on the show a couple of times, also Wild One Grazing on Insta. Yeah. Amy, it turns out, is a brand ambassador for you. Hey, so I jumped in. <laughs> and then two girls, one ball also. You jumped in with yeah. both leggings, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, what about your leggings? Because this is the thing, Robin, or also uh, Indigo. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be Harvey Weinstein, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't <laughs> say stuff like that. But uh, tell us a little bit about the leggings, because they look dope as fuck to me yeah. from, yeah. yeah. These are bong ones, and they got like 420 lines. You can bong. show us, yeah, as there's well. A joint, there's a joint, there's a bong. I'm like, I don't know what how, is this? how clean so That's a clock saying 420, that's a pipe. Bongs the are never clean. Really great. There's blunts all over They're them. so cute, I love them. Unicorn yeah. colors. <laughs> and there's a lighter. <laughs> Yes. And some smoke. And there's a clock somewhere that's got a 420 oh. on it. Yeah. Oh, yes, the clock oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like that uh, stoner, I think the term for the art style is kawaii, that cute Asian art style. So it looks like if there were stoner Pokemon that were bongs all over these leggings. That's an interesting way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a game idea. But yeah. Robin's always told me a lot, of, not just about your leggings, about your vibes, because I also see you accomplish a lot on your Instagram and that, because that's something we struggle with as stoners, is that there's always this perception that you're always a little bit like me, you know, a couple meals ahead, and you don't really do that much, which guilty as charged to an extent, but there are many facets to cannabis consumption in that, whether it helps your lifestyle or takes the edge off, do you ever find people are surprised that you're a stoner and not all natty dreaded? 100%. I think every single time. I'm also very much into sport and I run a lot and I find that no matter whether I smoke like before or after it really doesn't affect me in a bad way. Mm -hmm. I feel like it actually helps me. I don't know. I always think I can breathe better. I don't know why like people always like how do you smoke stuff? something and, and breathe better? I'm like I just do. I can feel it. I don't know, I, I enjoy smoking in every aspect of my life. Like, <laughs> Rox will wait until the end of the day. I like she's saying, she's like, oh, wait until the end of the day, have a joint, like it's my way to chill. I'm like, what about the morning? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Can we take a look at the Instagram account before we look at this dope weed we got from Garden Root, eh? Because I really meant what I said, the Instagram is lit. I see you guys do more than just leggings on your site, though. Yeah, so, so Hoko was is, well it actually started off being a clothing company and the leggings just did so so well so we decided to niche down and we stuck to the leggings okay. um but then also try and support other local or small like owned businesses that are selling cute products that almost align with the brand mm. so it's a nice way to su support other people and then also to just extend our range a little bit no, that's really good, eh? You don't sell any bong wear, though. No leggings for bongs yet, or anything like that, eh? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's bong wear. Yeah, it's an idea. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> but I've not, you said, been saying that you also have other channels, like you've got, you saw on YouTube? Yes. Oh, yeah. So that's, uh, we've just recently started a podcast. Yes. Yes. Podcast? Oh, you go. <laughs> no, Busy, no, yeah. podcast. <laughs> yeah, we started a podcast together. Yeah, it's called Health and Harmony. So it's pretty much mind, body, spirit, women aligning themselves with themselves. Even men, I mean, we have men that listen to our podcast, so I think it's just about generally aligning yourself and like just knowing that no matter what you're going through, there's someone that's going through the same thing as you, that you're not alone always, you know? 
I think we also have very similar journeys. Yeah. I mean, we always say we have so much learning still to do. Everyone does. You never stop learning. But it's just cool to know, like, cool, I'm listening to someone that's also going through the same thing as me. Like, I can relate and I'm not by myself. Hmm. So that's how we started Health and Harmony. That's a great. That's a great reason to start. I think we can relate a bit as well. <laughs> it was just a. Uh, we wanted to connect more with people and the more we put ourselves out there even though it's low key views the more we see that there's people on the chat engaging with us and there's people for us it's an hour out of our lives but collectively once it's out there it's many hours in many people's mm -hmm. lives and it's wonderful to relate and touch but also see you know that we can be comfortable because not just the stoner dynamic i'm sure there's many things that come holistically in the health thing where people maybe look at shrooms and all those mm -hmm. things are you finding that there's like now a CBD demand in your sector or are people still just maybe looking for THC lifestyle? I think mostly CBD at the moment just because it's still like a newly legal like avenue. Mm -hmm. Trendy. And it's yeah, trending, trendy, yes, 100% yeah, exactly. you can get CBD yeah. water, CBD, someone was talking about CBD pre-workouts. and Yes. There's like CBD, CBD, <laughs> CBD shampoo, there's like CBD yeah. everything, so yeah. it's I still, definitely trending. I still feel like though, people that smoke mm. will always smoke. And now it's just like, more people are involved because of CBD. <coughs> All the people that were smoking are still smoking. Mm. Frank and me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I, all the people that are smoking are still going to smoke in that. 100%. I think a lot of people are going to start in the shallow end with the CBD and that and maybe take the leap. So maybe yeah. CBD is the gateway. The gateway. I was just <laughs> going to say that. It's actually because... I know from experience, people who don't smoke at all are too scared to like even take the drops with THC in because they're scared of that high because they don't mm. smoke. So for them, the CBD options, the easier way to mm. get the benefits of the product without worrying about getting stoned or paranoid or whatever. And then maybe you can take the next step. Yes. It's a gateway. But it's also <laughs> bad because I know so many people personally that don't smoke and they've decided to like take CBD oil. But take so much CBD oil on their first time mm. that they actually end up getting sick and then they have a whole bad perception of marijuana in general. And I'm just no, like... Exactly. And it's not good to take huge amounts of CBD Yeah, I don't 100%. know if it's good to take any isolated yeah. plant component like that. I believe in the whole plant, eh? Completely. Exactly. I don't know about all these Why are you isolations. Them yeah. <laughs> but it's one of those things I've maintained yes. when it comes to, to my cannabis use. I have always been honest about it. I, I smoke for my pleasure. Not my help. And maybe it does help take the edge off a bit and maybe I'm not too dickish and things like that when I do smoke. Mm. But it's definitely something that I admit, it's not the healthiest thing to do. And it's great that there's vaping and all that. But there is this thing with CBD. I wonder sometimes also, it becomes, like you say, a psychological block. Mm. You take too much and it's like you reverse yeah. Spider-Man yourself. Mm. Now you're never going to want to touch it again. Completely agree. Yeah. yeah. Strange <laughs> times. Should we...